it's another brand new day. Today is May 16th and this is 136th drop of the living water. Believe that you all are doing well and you are collecting all these drops and your tank is filling. I'm so excited about that. So my congratulations if you have collected all these things up to now. So now we know this is a very important topic and everyone is focusing on this situation, is this incident. Uh, what is that? Christ Jesus, the King of Kings is coming on clouds. When he is coming, he is just coming with all the glory, with all the angels. And when he come here, every eye will see this. From Adam and Eve to that very moment. Every single dead and living, everyone is going to see that including you and I, and also those who chose to follow him will be gathered. And we learned that those who dead in Christ will rise first and they will go with him. So, in, uh, on the other hand, those who didn't go, the, those who dead but not in Christ Jesus, they did not follow him. When, he was, when they were living, they did not follow him. They did. What happened to them? There's a great agony. The whole multitude, the rest, they will mourn and crying and weeping, but no choice. Apostle John uh, writes this here. They will mourn a man, period. Why? Then too late. The, those who follow him, those who chose to follow him, those who dead in Christ, they go. And these people only to cry. No choice. So again, before it is getting too late, I again encourage you, be ready. Make the right choice to follow him and be ready to go with him. Right. Now, we learned about those who are dead. What happened to those who are dead in Christ and not dead in Christ? So we know both. Now today, let's talk about the living. What about those who are living at that very moment? Let's see the book of... Uh, Thessalonians, 1st Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 17. Let's read it together. This is all about the living. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And thus we shall always be with the Lord. Two things are here. The remain people. They will caught up in the cloud and they will go with them. Who are them? The people who are dead already, dead in Christ. They are going and we are going to join them. So all together, the dead and living, but those who are in Christ Jesus, they will go. They will, here it says, caught up together in the clouds and meet the Lord Jesus in the air. So we will meet Christ Jesus and they all go there. And what's next? There's another very beautiful part here. And thus, we'll sh we shall always be with the Lord. Wow. So those who are going in the cloud to meet Jesus Christ and go into heaven, they will live forever with Christ Jesus. That is what I have been talking from the beginning. Life everlasting. They will live with Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. That is the ultimate uh, conclusion for them. While the conclusion for the others, those who did not follow, really agony, miserable, weeping. They are weeping. The whole, every tribe will weep. Amen. Period. See the different, two different edges. So this is what's going to happen. Right. So, uh, I again encourage you, if you haven't chose yet to follow him, take this serious. This is your and my life and death. Make the right choice. And uh, also, I need to emphasize on something. Those who are going with him, there's something very important incident. It is a must. What do you think? Can you guess? If you have any idea what should be done before we go. 
whoever goes with him, this must happen before that. Can you guess? If you have any uh, idea, comment underneath. So we'll talk about that tomorrow. Be ready and may the Lord God bless you to make the right choice. Before it is getting too late, choose to follow him and to go with him. Those who are going there only receive this life everlasting. The rest will mourn and it will be a miserable agony period. Amen. So don't go there. No one has to be there. No one has to remain there. That's why this whole effort to encourage you. Right. So comment underneath your answer and share this good news among all of your contacts. And if you haven't subscribed, do it. See you tomorrow. May the Lord God bless you.